Alright, so I'm gonna go underneath and remove the undercover. Uh, there is an undercover here, which I already removed before when I did the oil change. And so I didn't put it back because I know I was gonna do this. So uh, at this point, if you're removing the axle, remove this cover right here. So there's the 10 mil, 10 mil bolt right here. And another one here. And another one right there. And another one right there. And just let it hang like that. And then come up here and room that bolt. Room that bolt. These two bolts. And another bolt right there. So two, four, six bolt to remove. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two first. And if I can slide it down, if I can slide it down, once I remove that, once I remove all the bolts, I can, hopefully I can slide it down in that hole right there. And I can pull it out from there. All right, so this one is not, it's already out. And this one can be pushed, just like that. And if I'm able to uh, separate that that side there and go through that hole, then I'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those bolts right now. Okay, guys. So it's a 12 mil bolt. I have 12 mil socket there. I'm going to remove all of it. All right, so all the bolts are out. Try to well, pump it up just like this. gonna slide it out from from the hole you guys can see here this one is it's going out it's going up from the bottom the whole assembly is coming out just like that all right so that's out okay guys so this is the new one all right straight from Japan you guys can see the the boot are brand new all the clamps and everything's are brand new okay we got this all from Japan imported however the other one is it's a use use one they're the same part number all right so whichever way you're gonna put this in left right left right doesn't matter they're both the same all right, so I'm gonna put this in the uh, the right side. You guys can see this one, this covering right here. I'm gonna leave it on like that until I I have it against that <clears throat> part of it, the axle, because if, if you have this out. The covering is gonna fall out. So right now I'm gonna insert this part 
guy here. Try to spin it so you can maneuver. Try to spin it so you can maneuver it in. You know, I got it in this way. So you wanna maneuver it. So you wanna spin this, right? Spin it like that to maneuver it in. My position was like this. I have it like that so I can get it in. And then all I have to do now is lift it up and pop it in here. All right, I'm gonna remove those zip ties. And then I'm gonna put bolts in, all right? All right, so I'm gonna have it like that. So I'm gonna go remove this zip tie. out uh, there's two more to go I'm just gonna spin it just like that one more to go I think I can put the bolt in right there so while the other one's still in, I mean the other side's still intact. So I can put those that bolt in. The other bolt right here. And just cut the remaining zip tie underneath. Just like that. That's so, out. There you go. There you go. So that's in. I'm just gonna zap this. It's like that. Zap the other side too. Like that. Spin this. There. Zap it. Like that. I'm gonna go install the rest of the bolts. So I'm going to go make sure that's tight. I'm not sure what the torque spec is, but I'm going to make sure they're tight.
battery to here. All right. Add an extendable 3 8 ratchet that will. Can you give me a favor, bro? Yeah. Can you press the brake for me? Please. Yeah. Step down the brake so this one doesn't spin. So I got a help from my friend here. He's gonna step on the brake and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure this is tight. Okay. Oh that's tight. So that's one. That's two. That's good. Let go, please. Okay, brake. That's good. That's good. Let go. Break. It's tight. Okay, that's good. Okay, they're all tight. All right. I guess the next step now is to uh, install the bolt here. Thanks, Frank. Oh, okay, by the way, so this, this is a different size now, but the original one was 32, so it's, this one is probably 34, so I'm gonna go, go look for 24. Alright, sorry, I meant to say 36, so this is a 36 now. Axle not suck it, okay? You could definitely use the old one if you don't have a 36 mil socket. Just like that and uh, put that in. Cutter pin. Cutter pin seems to be too big, I guess, for this one. Maybe. Oh, it's good. Went in. Just like that. So that's finished. Alright. So that's how you uh, change your uh, axle. This will be the passenger side. Actually, no, it would be the driver's side because it's JDM. Okay. Um, yeah. It's pretty simple. It, let, it slides out that way. All right. Not that hard. I mean, it could be the same. I'm replacing the other side too. I mean, if there's any difference from the other side, I'll let you guys know. Uh, make sure that those bolts are tightened up. Okay. And this one's their torque to uh, spec I don't know what the torque spec is but I know how I feel like uh, when putting this in they're tight they're tight I know my stuff okay so there you go guys so that's how you remove and replace your axle on um, Nissan L Grand all right guys so this is the left side and yes it is actually different from the other side because of the transfer case being there so I can't pull the uh, axle out that way so I'm gonna have to do is there's two options to do this and this option is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna mark this right here I'm gonna mark that right there All right it's just a reference right because if, I, if you're removing suspension you might end up doing a, an alignment all right, so I'm just making a reference here just so I can get very close to where it was before. Very close to where it was now. All right, so I'm just making those mark. Just like that. Just 
just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm gonna disconnect. I'm going to just pop this out. I'm going to pop this out also and I'm going to remove these two bolts and I should be able to pull it this way and that should be enough clearance to get the axle out. If this needs to be taken out, I'll remove that too. Alright, so I'm going to get started. That's out. Just like that. That's the grease around here. Flying off, so this will be a sensor that's coming out just like that. All right, all right, guys. So this is size 22, size 22 on the other side is 17. I have a wrench right here just to counter that 17 mil. So pull up. Just like that. Just like that. All right. Probably a good idea to have a support underneath here. Something to support it. Like that, that'd be good. Alright. So I got that box right there to support it so it's not coming down. Uh, since uh, I can't. Since my jack is out of reach, thank god that's within my reach, so I took that and put it underneath. So I got the axle out right there. Alright, so I can put the new one in. Okay, here's the new one.
now let's put this. Sorry, you guys didn't see that, did you? All you guys could see was my my knee. All right. So anyway, the uh, the axle is in. I'm just gonna put this strut bolt in. Just trying to align it. Temporarily install the bottom one first. Uh, so the bottom one I temporarily put that on because I wasn't able to put the top one in, but it should be going in this way. So now I can put this one in. Just like that. It's in. All right. I can put this ABS sensor back to where it was same on the back and also the brake uh, brake holes Okay, so this is back in the brake hose is also back in this line is also back in there to where it was all right so as you guys can see where my reference marks is it's pretty much dead on all right all right so hopefully I don't think this one will need some alignment but anyway uh, be careful with this hose the brake line hose when you're like when you have this out this way while you're removing and putting the the axle out because it might stretch out i was very careful enough and thank god for the box because otherwise this whole thing was going to go all the way down right so make sure that you have something to uh to support the lower control arm so you have that box right there to support it earlier because i i didn't have any jack uh near me 
reach to it but I think that I, I had that within my reach uh, the next step now is to, uh, to tighten this bolt next step would be to put those six bolts for the axle and the axle nut hub all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this part first and then the axle Alright, so all the bolts are in, I'm just gonna zap it in.
All right, so I'm just gonna make sure they're tight and uh, I was gonna tell you guys what the other option was because what I did was remove the strut, separate the strut from the uh, from this system spindle right so the other option you can do is to remove the lower lower control arm so remove the nut remove the nut and then the cotter pin and uh, separate the lower control arm all right and then that way you can remove the axle out that way i mean that's the ideal way of doing it but since i'm just doing this at home and i can't lift the car very high I don't know if I'm gonna have a hard time removing that lower control arm, separating it from the uh, from the spindle. So what I did was <clears throat> was an easy way, I should say. Uh, in my case, because I'm doing it at home in my in my garage. All right. So if I had a lift, that would be my choice right there. This would be my choice. Okay. But it's all done right now. It's all good. I'm um, just gonna make sure those are tight. These are tight, cutter pins in, and that should be it. So this is the left side. All right, guys. So it's it's different because the uh, transfer case is on the way, right? So you guys can't get that axle out through that hole. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. Thanks.